OpenAI O3 Mini is mind-blowing. You can ask it to create an autonomous snake game or write a Python program that shows a ball bouncing inside a spinning hexagon. Best of all, free users can access it in ChatGPT. All you need to do is click on the Reason button and it will use O3 Mini to think through how to answer your question. Let's see some demos. First, let's ask it to create an autonomous snake game using Python, where two snakes compete against each other. As you can see, it works step by step, reasoning, processing, crafting the game, setting up gameplay and so on. It then outputs the code. Let's copy it into VS Code and run it. And indeed, we have a snake game where two snakes compete to eat food, growing longer as they do, with a scoreboard reflecting their scores. Notice the moment when the green snake hits the wall and gets a game over. Really impressive. Next, let's ask it to write a Python program that shows a ball bouncing inside a spinning hexagon. The ball is affected by gravity and friction, bouncing off the rotating walls realistically. After generating the code, it once again shows its reasoning, creating a dynamic scene, calculating collision dynamics, adjusting for wall movement, and so on. Let's copy the code and run it. Looks like it nailed it again. The demo shows a ball bouncing inside a spinning hexagon as intended. For comparison, even DeepSeek R1 struggles with this prompt, which highlights the power of O3 Mini for coding tasks. Now, instead of ChatGPT, you can use AnyChat on Hugging Face. The cool thing about AnyChat is that it not only generates code, but also displays a live result. Select OpenAI as the provider, then choose the latest O3 Mini model and input your prompt. However, uploading a reference image doesn't work with O3 Mini since it currently doesn't support vision capabilities. Now, let's see if O3 Mini can build a Microsoft Paint clone with advanced settings. As you can see, it generates a drawing application and every control works as expected. Very impressive for zero-shot code generation. O3 Mini is also exceptionally powerful for solving difficult math, science, and coding problems. For instance, I asked a complex university-level physics problem from UC Davis, and it provided the correct answers. Now remember, this is O3 Mini, not even the full version of 3, which is even more performant. OpenAI has released three versions in the O3 Mini series, low, medium, and high. The high version is the most powerful and even outperforms the O1 model in benchmarks. Free users get the standard version of O3 Mini, while paid users on the $200 per month Pro plan have the option to use O3 Mini High with unlimited access. Independent benchmarks show that the O3 Mini High model outperforms the rest, including DeepSeek and Google's Gemini. Interestingly, the O3 Mini Medium model, the one available for free in ChatGPT, is slightly behind DeepSeek R1. That wraps up my video on O3 Mini. I hope this gave you a good idea of the cool and impressive things you can do with it. If you're interested in generating free AI music without any restrictions, watch this video. Also, if you want to know the truth about the recent DeepSeek and ChatGPT controversy, check out this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.